Hello, I am Mrs. Edwards, and today we are going to divide some polynomials. We're going to use some long division, so let's get it set up. Um, what's in the front goes in the house. So our dividend there, what's in the front, is going right there. Notice when you set up the division, you need to put in some placeholders. Um, I did not have an x to the second term, so I replaced, I put in a placeholder there of 0x squared, otherwise it looks the same. Going to put that x minus 1 in the front. Now when you go to divide, one way to think of this is just say x cubed divided by x. So put the front term over the front term. So x cubed over x is x squared. That's how many times that's going to fit in there. Okay, then next you're going to take x squared and multiply it to each term off to the side. So x squared multiplied by x is x cubed. x squared multiplied by negative 1 is minus x squared. We're ready to subtract, so I'm going to draw in a line to subtract. Just don't forget that you need to distribute that negative all the way through. So here we have a positive, so that'll turn into negative, and this negative into a positive. We're ready to combine. x cubed minus x cubed is nothing. You don't ever want to write what you don't have, only what you do have. So I'm not going to put 0x cubes there. All right, then 0x squared plus 1x squared is x squared. Drop it down here. We're going to take this negative 13x, bring that down, and then we start again. Same exact process. We're going to take what's in front over what's in front to decide what goes here. So I'm going to take x squared over x, which is x, and that goes right there. So plus x. Multiply this x up here to each one of the terms on the side. So x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by negative 1 is minus x. Draw our line and subtract. When I subtract, I need to run the negative all the way through. So this positive is going to become a negative, and this negative is going to be a positive. Let's combine. x squared minus x squared is nothing. Negative 13x plus x makes negative 12x. Bring down the 12, and we're ready to start again. So to decide what goes up here, we're going to take what's in front over what's in front. So negative 12x over x is negative 12. That goes right there. And then multiply negative 12 times each of the terms on the side. Negative 12 times x is going to be negative 12x. Negative 12 times negative 1 is plus 12. Draw a line. Subtract. So running that negative all the way through, that negative becomes plus, and that plus becomes minus. Combine, and we have 0. So this fit in here evenly, which is kind of cool because if I did want to check, I could multiply x minus 1 times x squared plus x minus 12, and I'd be right back to x cubed minus 13x plus 12. Just to make sure you have this down, I'm going to do two more examples. Here we go. So I'm going to set up the division, and whatever comes first here goes in the house. Putting in my placeholders, I did not have an x to the second term, so I put in a plus 0x squared to hold its place. Then we're going to put the divisor x minus 4 out front, ready to divide. So to decide what goes up here, it's what's in front over what's in front simplified. So let's do x cubed over x which is x squared, that goes up there. Then multiply what we have here to each of the terms and write it down. So x squared times x is x to the third. x squared multiplied by negative 4 is negative 4x squared. Ready to subtract, draw my line, just 
be sure to run the negative all the way through. So this positive is going to become negative, and this negative is going to become positive. Ready to combine? So negative x cubed, or excuse me, x cubed minus x cubed is nothing. 0x squared plus 4x squared is 4x squared. Bring down the minus 11x. Um, and then start again. So what's in front over what's in front goes up here. 4x squared over x simplifies to 4x. So I'm going to pop that in right up there. Multiply 4x times each of the terms off to the side. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 4 is negative 16x. Draw my line. Subtract, run the negative all the way through. So this is going to be a negative, and then running the negative through, it's going to change that to a plus. Combine, 4x squared minus 4x squared is nothing. Negative 11x plus 16x is 5x. Now we're going to drop down the 28 and start again. So to decide what goes up here, it's what's in front over what's in front. So I'm going to take 5x over x, which simplifies to 5. So the 5 comes up here. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 4 is minus 20. Draw my line to subtract. Run the negative all the way through. So this is going to be negative, and that will be positive. Combine 5x minus 5x, nothing. 28 and 20 make 48. This time we have a remainder. So when you have a remainder, you're going to add on the extra. So we're going to have plus, and the extra is 48. So we're going to have 48 over, and whatever your divisor is out here, that is the denominator. And we have our final answer. All right, just one more. So let's get it set up. And what's in the front goes in the house. Number one in the house. Okay, I was missing an x to the second power when this was written in descending order. You always want to write this in descending order and put in any terms that are missing as placeholders. So I put in a 0x squared, but when I go to put x squared minus 2 out here, when I put that divisor out there, it is also missing a term. We have an x to the second, we don't have any x's, then we have minus 2. So you don't want to put placeholders just in here in the dividend. You want to also do that out here on the divisor. All right, so I put in 0x um, as a placeholder, and we're ready to get started again. Um, so to decide what goes up here, you take what's in front over what's in front. All right, so let's do that x to the fourth over x squared is x squared. So that goes right there. This time we're going to multiply that x squared times each term off to the side. x squared multiplied by x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times zero x's is zero x to the third. x squared times negative two is negative two x squared draw in my line, ready to subtract, but be sure to run the negative all the way through. So I'm going to put it minus, then this positive is going to change to a minus, and this negative is now going to be positive. Let's combine x to the fourth minus x to the fourth, nothing, 2x cubes minus 0x cubes is 2x cubes, 0x squareds and 2x squareds make 2x squareds. Let's bring that minus 4x down, and we're ready to start again. So to decide what goes up here, what's in front over what's in front. So I'm going to have 2x cubed over x squared. 
When you simplify that, you get 2x. That goes right there. And multiply 2x times x squared, 2x cubed, 2x times 0x, 0x squared, 2x times negative 2, negative 4x. Draw my line and subtract. So when I run the negative all the way through, we're going to have minus 2x cubed, this positive, minus 0x squared, negative, becomes a positive, plus 4x. Let's combine. We have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is nothing. 2x squared and 0x squared minus 0x squared is 2x squared. Negative 4x and 4x, we don't have any x's. I went ahead and put 0 this time because we weren't out front. Kind of wanted a placeholder. Ready to bring down the 6. Okay, and start again. To decide what goes up here, what's in front over what's in front. So I'm going to take 2x squared over x squared, which is just 2. That goes up here. Multiply 2 times each of the terms out to the side. 2 times x squared, 2x squared. 2 times 0x, 0x's. 2 times negative 2, minus 4. Draw my line, ready to subtract. Let's run that negative all the way through. Combine. And so all we have to combine here is 6 and 4, which makes 10. That's our remainder, so we're adding on the extra. So plus 10 over, and it's going to be over this right here, over our divisor. So let's move over our divisor, and we have our final answer. All right, I think you're all set, so go and divide and conquer.